In this training video, we're going to look at modifying links and changing the structure of a project. So I've got a project here of 59 days, which I'm trying to change the structure to look like another project I've got, which has got a bit more detail in it. It's got an advertising section here. It's got an interviewing sec a selection section here. It's got some different links going on, but you know, it's only a one day difference. There's quite a lot of changes that need to be made and the duration is only going to go up one day. So when you make these kind of changes, it's uh, something you've got to be careful of when you are modifying project and changing links and, and linking and moving tasks around. You've got to do it in a quite a structured way. So I'm going to give a demonstration here of how to do this kind of thing and move tasks around and modify links and and then try and keep it as safe as possible so the structure of the project is maintained. So we know it's a one day duration difference. The first one I'm going to go for is the bottom one. Inform applicant and HR induction have been corrected in this project. In the initial one, Inform applicant is below HR induction, which would never happen. So I'm going to go to that one first. So if I'm doing this kind of project, I tend to go from top to bottom. But if, if there's an easy one to do first, I'll tend to go down the bottom and then work from top to bottom. So I'm going to select all three tasks here because I want all three to be broken away from the second interview so I can move them around. So I'm going to break. And I call it isolate when I teach my face-to-face -face course and my online courses. So when I'm doing this kind of thing, I, I first think of isolating, then make a change. Well, the change in this example is just moving the task into a new position. And then the last word I think of is reconnect. So I'm now going to reconnect what I've done to the rest of the project. So these are the words I think of. Isolate, change, reconnect whenever I'm doing this kind of change. So the next one I'm going to look at now is go back to the what I'm trying to do. So I've done the bottom part now. I'm now going to look at advertising. So it's got market research in here. There's a there's a link change here, start to start. So market research has got four tasks all together. So advertising has got four tasks all together with market research in it's four days then plan advertising, then design job packs, then organize advertising. So four tasks, and we've got to finish the start and then a start the start. Okay, so let me have a go with this one. So here now I'm going to isolate advertising away from the top. So I want it broken away from HR handover. So I'm gonna break it, and I want it broken away from the bottom. So advertising by itself now is all by itself. I tend to go further than this. I tend to be ultra safe when I'm doing this kind of thing. So I tend to even get rid of the semi task. So I'm going to outdent. I'm now going to put the new task in. I'm going to right click, insert task, and that's going to be called market research. And that's a four day task. And I want those two to be finished to start. So I can either double click on plan advertising and create a finish to start link, or I can just click on the chain. So I, when I'm doing it um, two tasks together, I tend to click on the chain. But I also want plan advertising and design job packs to be start to start. So this one I'm going to double click on. Design job packs. Going to go to predecessors and I want to start to start. And now that's advertising done. So I've got the finish start, start to start. I can now join all that back together and that should give me eight days. And we'll check on the other project now. So I'm going to join all that back together. There's the eight days. And I've now finished the advertising section. 
and summary. So I'm going to join it back to HR handover to make sure that's reconnected. And I'm also going to reconnect it advertising, organized advertising to advertise role. So that's reconnected. Okay, so we've actually got the end result now, 60 days. So I'll just check on the other project now. So here's the 60 days of the completed one. So all I've got to do now, I know that the interview selection, the 27 days for book and plan interview room and the, the rest of the changes mustn't affect the structure of the project. So there's a 27 day summary going to go in, which is not going to affect the 60 day because we've already hit 60 days. So the first thing I'm going to do is insert two new tasks after I've isolated. So the, in, the new tasks will be interview selection and book and plan interview room when I've isolated and broken the summary task. So I'm going to go back now. Okay, so I want the closing date and job summary, job shortlist listing to be isolated because the interview selection is going to go under closing date. But I also want the inform applicant and select applicant to be broken because the summary task is going to include select applicant. So I'm going to break the bottom as well. Now I'll start the work. So I'm going to insert two new tasks. So I can go insert task and another one. Put a type in now. So this is interview and selection. And when you're putting a summary task of data entry, a zero day duration is entered. So zero day. The next task is going to go in as book and plan interview room. And that is a three day duration task. And that needs to be linked with job shortlisting as a start to start. So I'm going to double click on job shortlisting and make that a start to start with task 12. So 12, and I want that to be a start to start. Okay, everything's now set up in place. I'm now going to produce the summary task down to here. And this should give me now 27 days, which is what it does. So I could now highlight interview selection, just give it a little bit of yellow, bit of format in. And it hasn't gone across the 27 days because there's a blue shade in here. So I can get rid of this blue shade in by making another change to so the next change I make the blue shading will go somewhere else and you'll see the yellow shading go right across so I've now got the 27 days I want I'm going to reconnect closing date and job shortlisting I'm also going to reconnect select applicant and inform applicant and there's the 60 days and there's the interview and selection with the yellow going across the duration as well so if I look at the activity that I've just completed, 60 days, advertising eight days, interview selection 27 days, project is 60 days. Let me go at the one I'm trying to achieve, which is the completed one, and they're exactly the same. 60 days for the completed, advertising eight days, interview selection 27 days, and in HR induction at the bottom. And I'll go back to when I've just when I've just used the training video for the challenge activity, and you can now see that that's exactly the same. So when you're doing this kind of work and you're modifying links and modifying a structure within a project, it does need a little bit of thought, a little bit of thinking how to manipulate it without, in effect, really 
ruining the structure of the project because in project undo is not very forgiving. So uh, as an experienced user with many, many years experience of using Microsoft Project, uh, undo is a key that I don't, do not use. I, I work around project without pressing undo. So this kind of work, when you're doing, making these changes, um, pressing undo when you make a mistake is something that uh, should, should be avoided at all costs because undo is not very helpful in project. It's better to work out the issue and then make the change yourself. Uh, and as we've done here, we've changed the structure. The, the structure now of the challenge acti activity matches the challenge activity completed, which was the one we were trying to achieve. Here's the completed one. And we now know that it takes a little bit of work to actually change a structure. And this is not too many tasks. This is only, we've got a summary project summary task at the top. So really it's only 17 tasks. If you've got a big project, it takes a lot of care and attention to make these kind of changes. But this is the kind of way you go about modifying a project and restructuring a project. So this involved modifying links here, breaking links, removing summary tasks, inserting summary tasks, inserting tasks. So there's quite a bit to this restructure, but this now completes the training video on modifying links and restructuring a project. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.